Hello everyone, and welcome back to, I almost hit a pairing armor say, and welcome back to Rain Dude, and it's episode 14, I think. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue on from last time, and if you don't know what happened last time, then watch the last video. Uh, personally, I think it was pretty cool. <laughs> You managed it well. Eh? Huh? What do you mean? You're getting good at playing dumb, too. <laughs> Are you practicing for the peacekeepers? Eh, uh, no, I'm just a little confused, you see. You really are the top actress after all. Are you talking about what just happened? You really want to say that so loudly? <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. She seems to believe Yoshiko is the culprit from the way she's talking. Is there something about Yoshiko that makes her think that? I know how to keep a secret so bad by such line though. Um, Keeping secrets for her? Um, about the case. I know how to keep a secret. I knew it. It's a club locker. Kurane's name tag is on it. Uh, um... That... Huh? Oh! You're right! Did you forget? We talked about this Using someone else's makeup will lead to fights, so we aren't allowed- The situation is bad enough. Oh, right! Hey, do you have a moment? I want to talk about what happened. Um, Yoshiko? Hmm? What's wrong? I'm sorry. It's nothing. Excuse me. <sighs> she suddenly fell quiet. I guess I shouldn't question her anymore. She looked like she wanted to say something, but maybe it's something she can't say to Yoshiko. Maybe she'll talk if I'm disguised as someone else. It's a club locker. Cotton's name. I probably shouldn't open the lockers of people I'm not. Hey, it's Yoshiko. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You think the killer is Waruna? <laughs> Do you think the killer is Waria? Huh? Is that what you think? What's going on? Is there something they don't want Yoshiko to hear? <laughs> Hope you enjoy you got peeking like a microphone. <laughs> My lacquer. Yoshiko's name tag is on it. I should open so it. why with the tag on it? You're opening a young girl's locker? What you're doing is totally psycho. It's for the investigation. Give me a break. Yeah, whatever. I hope it doesn't turn into a hobby. I'd like to apologize to Dunder Boy, but because like this is for a pretty useful ability, actually. The script and makeup items are neatly placed. Huh? There's a glass in the back. It's the same kind that was used for the play. What is this doing here? What else is there? Oh, there's a photo on the back of the door. It's a two-shot photo of Yoshiko and another girl wearing this school's uniform. I thought it was going to be a uh, Korea or something. Also, um, is that the girl who died? Who is she? That's about it for the things of note in this locker. Is it gonna be something like, uh, Turing A killed the girl who died, and then Yoshiko killed, um, 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 Karen? <sighs> um, I know. 
know how to keep a secret. I knew it. It's a club locker. I probably shouldn't. It's a club. I probably. Yoshiko, why did you leave me back there? But you're willing to talk to her, huh? Those peacekeepers kept harassing me. They're the worst. Um, you're. I watched from above the whole time. I saw Cotton die. From above? <laughs> uh. Hey, if you were watching from above, does that mean you were with Kurane on the lights? I was. Why are you asking me this now? Then tell me, did Kurane do anything strange during the performance? Did she carry anything suspicious or do anything out of the ordinary? No, she was the same old unfriendly Kurane. She came to the catwalk before the performance and was there the whole time until the incident occurred. If she did anything out of the ordinary, I would have immediately noticed. Lighting requires perfect teamwork. You have some kind of your nose or something? Like, some shit. Though to be honest, it feels really suffocating to be around her. Oh, I wish you were on the lights instead, Yoshiko. Anyway, why do you ask? Oh, uh... No reason. So, Kurane was just her usual self, huh? Yep. I never lie to you. Is Yoshiko really just saw like, I feel like... Remember the Duel of Poisoned Cups part? Where they shuffled the cups? I feel like it's some weird costume game. Like, a weird game is like, uh, you may like smaller, so I don't know why these would be so tall again. Could you see that part from above? It's like, you must, like, model was taller when they were sitting down for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Although the audience couldn't, I could see their hands moving from above. As part of the lighting crew, that was my most important scene, so it would have been a problem if I couldn't. Most important? Yoshko! You complimented me during the meeting about this, remember? It's the scene where we shine the spotlight on the glasses after shuffling. Why does she almost sound like Mabel to me? <laughs> oh, right. That, uh, how is it supposed to go again? It's the presentation where we use two spotlights. Kurine puts a spotlight on one of the glasses first, then I immediately put another spotlight down. Were you not watching? Hey, yo, 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 I was watching. I was. I just remembered. You did an excellent job with the lights. Yeah, sure. You complimented me! I'm so excited! I doubt I'll sleep at all tonight. May we finally have that sleepover? <laughs> There's something I need to do right now. Maybe another time. Yeah, okay. Um... You were gonna go in the room. Why are it's all right. Up like that? I should keep a secret. Aww, I wish this would end soon. Um, 
You were in charge of... The costumes? You're acting like this is the first time we've met. Do you not remember me? Well, people call me the ghost member all the time. Oh, why is she saying so mean towards you? <laughs> you know what? Costume shop, ghost member, girly. Uh, I'm gonna give you a name. Uh, <laughs> uh, Yui, that's your name. Uh, Yui. And I'll be your number one fan, Yui! I'm here every day, but no one notices me. Well, at least I'm not as bad as Kurine. But she stands out a lot when she's on stage. Could it be she acts a certain way so she doesn't stand out on purpose? What do you think, Yoshiko? Uh, uh I'm not so sure. <laughs> she's quiet. Maybe she's not on good terms with Yoshiko. You're actually the most interesting character in this whole game. Oh, what should I do? I'm gonna get yelled at. What's wrong? Yoshiko, I'm so glad you're here. Is there a problem? Yes, well, we're missing a prop glass. A glass? You mean for the stage? Yes, you're the one who prepared it for our play today. Oh, um, did I do that? Huh? Did you forget? We originally planned to use wine glasses, but their thin stems break so easily. So last time you bought four others, including the backups. Uh, oh, right. Two backups were on the prop shelf, but there's only one of them now. Oh, where could it have gone? Speaking of, I want to ask if you're the one who set the glasses up on the stage. Yes, I was. Did you notice anything strange with the glasses at the time? No, they were spotless. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. I see. Thanks. Um A gun? We saw that oh, earlier. It's just a water gun. There's a hole on top for adding water. That's the prop we used in our previous performance. You did a wonderful job. Wait a sec, you kinda <laughs> Thanks. Let me chill. Should be enough. Okay, bro. Oh, I think that's about all the information I can gather while disguised as Yoshiko. People treat Yoshiko exactly like it was reputed. Everyone around her seems to trust her. I don't necessarily that agree with that, said, but Warona and Kurane seem to think Yoshiko is the culprit. Do they think she poisoned a rival to eliminate the competition? But I don't see her as someone who could kill. There was no info tying her to the murder either. What do you mean, who I could? Disguise myself as we don't know her. Member and gather more information. We don't know any of them. Getting a 
addicted to drag, are you? I don't think you're about to win any races. <laughs> um, teacher, do you have a moment? Oh, what's wrong? Are you feeling unwell? Excuse me for a minute. This student doesn't seem to be feeling well. That happens a lot. How's the investigation going? Who do you want to disguise as next? I like how I never answer that. I want to disguise as Waruna. Waruna, the other lead actress on stage. No, I kind of dig chicks who seem hard to get. Alrighty, time to turn you into just the kind of girl I like. So creepy. Perverts of a feather flock together. Hurry up with the investigation. I'm getting way more tired than I expected. Okay. If I stop concentrating, my disguise will wear off. Yeah, I get right, it. I'll make it quick, so please hold down the fort for just a bit longer. I'm counting on you. Yeah, don't worry. Dunderbolt. The supposed to be feared by the other members. I hope I can still get some information from them. But I better make sure I don't run into the real Waruna. Uh, Yoshiko was in the rest area. Waruna. Hey. I said, hey. <sighs> she hears me, but she's ignoring me. I knew they weren't on good terms, but I didn't expect the seemingly friendly Yoshiko to act this way toward her. Still, I need to get her to talk, or I won't find any clues. Hey, Yoshiko. Why are you ignoring me? <sighs> You're the one who told me not to speak to you. Huh? I did? It's unlike you to act like this. Are you nervous? Anyway, stop talking to me. Go away. It's no use. Oh well. Hey, Waruna. You handled that poisoning scene with Cotton really well. Huh? I don't want to see you around here again. Was that a compliment about Warren's acting? No, there was some nuance. Like she indirectly accused Waruna of murdering Cotton. So Yoshiko believes Warana killed Cotton during the Duel of Poisoned Cups. It's a pretty interesting taste, but for some reason it's reminding me of that one Duel Destiny case and suddenly my mood is, like, extremely evaporated. Um... <clears throat> She's ignoring me. Looks like they're not on good terms. <sighs> oh, Waruna, what brings you here? Sorry, I I'm busy cleaning up right now. She's obviously afraid. Oh, Waruna, I'm cleaning that right now. You'll get dirty. Um, I'd appreciate it if you could leave that alone. Oh, got it. But she didn't say that with Yoshiko. Okay. Like, I don't even really know, like, what kind of excuse to be for that. What do you want? 
Can't you tell I'm trying to blend into the wall as best I can right now? Don't talk to me. Um, it's about what happened. I didn't expect you to bring it up. <sighs> Fine. There is something bothering me about it anyway. What's that? I watched the glasses get shuffled while I was above set. Wasn't it slower than usual? W was it? Why did you go so slowly? Um, I was just doing what I usually do. I get the vibe that <laughs> all four of them are innocent. But it's either that or it's just, um, which will probably mean to Rumi's the Cobra unless they introduce a new character. But it's probably that or, um, you know, we're end up being guilty. Just by the way oh, everyone's okay. talking. Like, why aren't yeah, the one telling you so? what you were trying to do, you know. Huh? Whatever. Does she suspect something? I know how to keep a secret. <laughs> advantage of the duel of poisoned cups to kill Cotton? Okay, so, like, I actually had to cut off part of this video. Cause it got a little crazy, but, um, we're back. Let me turn this volume down. Cause, you know, the things always so loud. Don't talk to me. What? I have nothing more to say. For now. That, that's about all from her. Hey, could we talk for a bit? <gasps> Lorena! What's wrong? Um, well... She's really nervous around Waruna. Maybe I can push her a little to talk. You should tell me if you notice something. Otherwise, I might get upset. S sorry Um, there was one thing I noticed. What was it? It's about Yoshiko. I wonder if she wasn't feeling well. Huh? Why do you say that? I mean... When I she's watched well. the audience and noticed Yoshiko arrived to the theater hall late. Yeah, I saw that too. Yoshiko always watches from beginning to end, even for the rehearsal performances. We didn't even see her get either. I wonder what could have changed like, that. After the show was over. What did she do after arriving late? Well, she sat near the right edge of the front row before the blackout. She was still there after the lights came on. Hmm. She didn't leave her seat once. She looked rather restless throughout the play. Right edge in the front row, and she looked restless. She were restless. Tiring. I don't know how to pronounce that. Karen was restless. Hey, can you talk right now? Oh, Warina. Sorry, I'm a bit busy right now. <sighs> it's no use. She won't talk to me. She seems really afraid of Warna. I want to talk to you more. I saw it was, Pop. Yeah, you think I I'm the one who did it. Yet, Warana must be terrifying. I guess Wait, I doubt I can talk to them. This locker has Warana's name on it, it doesn't seem to be locked. Going through a high school girl's locker while claiming it's for an investigation is what a criminal would do. I'm not a criminal, I'm a detective. Well, a trainee. It 
It's crammed with music and theater magazines. Huh? Is this a diary? But it's locked. I can't open it. I don't see a key. Then again, I don't really want to peek into a diary. Let's put it back for now. I don't think there are any other clues. <sighs> it's a club locker. Cotton's name tag is on it. Excuse me. That isn't your locker, is it, Waruna? Huh? Oh, you're right. We talked about this during our last meeting. Using someone else's makeup, Waruna. S sorry The real Waruna. Huh. It'd be trouble if we ran into each other. I should hide. Yeah, it would be trouble. <laughs> is she heading to the restroom? Ahem. This is just me talking aloud. But yeah, this I should probably call her. To slip into that makeup room. Uh, you might be right, but it'd be terrible if I'm caught. I'm just talking to myself again. But if you don't grow a pair, you'll never become a full-fledged detective. J shut up! I'm just considering my options. already yeah I forgot something uh, where was it I'm grooming my tail cleanliness is next to go I'm scared I can't believe I watched someone die oh, no. oh, I where did cut and soul go I don't the know. true culprit's soul is deep inside the mystery labyrinth. Only Kurene could do something this scary. Hmm, <laughs> of course. Kurene. What makes you think it's her? Because I saw it. Kurene stole Karen's script when it was left in the wings. Huh? She ran off somewhere with the script. Isn't that suspicious? Kurene took Karin's script? What does it mean? Is there a secret involving her script? Varna, please stay by my side today. I'm so scared I could die. Is that why, uh, what should you uh, hesitate it? I'll think about Karen it. Karen hesitate it? You know, um... Like, this is gonna be like, if we go to the Mystery Labyrinth, then one of them is gonna die, so... Aww. Yeah, I got to be on your conscience. Right? Who would have thought Cotton would die on stage? Even though I hated her, seeing her die right in front of me makes me regret badmouthing her. Yoshiko has to be the one who did it, don't you think? Yoshiko? What makes you think that? I thought you'd agree, Warna. Yoshiko is the only one who could do this. She's fanatical about Aiko, though she thinks nobody noticed. Aiko? That was Kurumi's close friend who committed suicide six months ago. Which reminds me, we snuck into the school to seek out the truth behind Aiko's death to begin with. 
Maybe this incident has something to do with her death as well. Yoshiko never shows her feelings, so who knows what she's thinking. But I'm sure Yoshiko hated Karen. Karen got to be the main lead ever since Aiko died, after all. Yoshiko resented her, which led to today. Oh, I, I forgot about this. I was thinking, like, what if, uh... Like, um... I don't know, I was just, like, thinking randomly, like, what if, like, Karen killed, um, Aiko and didn't kill herself. It's just a random talk, though. Well, how's that for some expert reasoning? Honestly, none of these four, like, particularly feel like they stand out in suspicion. Like, each one of them kind of, um, is suspicious in their own way. Um, so, is it true that Yoshiko adored Aiko? I mean, you Are saw you a picture me? in her Everyone locker. Everyone could tell. It was that obvious. Warna, you're really dense when it comes to these things. But, that's what makes you likable. You like also, dumb people? you need to go to the restroom? I better get out of here. The real Warana might come back any second. Thanks for talking to me. Anyway, I need to go to the restroom. Luckily, she would take a long time, huh? That was super quick, Warana. <laughs> huh? Oh. <sighs> We almost ran into each other. Yeah, how do we avoid each other even go like whatever? That should be enough. Okay. Uh Gunderbolt! Don't, don't die! Can we talk to you People again, though? Her, so they don't really <laughs> talk to her. But Yoshiko and Kurne both seem to suspect Waruna. On the other hand. Warana's group of friends suspect Yoshiko and Kurane. Everyone suspects each other. Maybe everyone was on edge even before today's incident. But there's still no information that could lead me to the culprit yet. I was able to gather more intel by disguising myself as those three, but... I still don't have any definitive evidence that proves who the culprit is. I won't get much further just thinking about it, so I should go to Desuhiko for now. Um, excuse me. Where's the teacher who was here earlier? Oh, she wasn't feeling well and went to the administrative office. <laughs> oh, man. The same teacher keeps going back to the restroom, too. Maybe it's food poisoning. I see. Thanks. The office? Why at a time like this? Because, bro. Maybe you might like. You guys have like short term memory or something. D Desuhiko? What happened? Oh, it's you, Yuma. Sorry. I need a break. I started getting dizzy, so, uh, I ran in here to get away from everyone. I try to retrieve my disguise tools, but I can't. I'm at my limit. I can't move. You're that fatigued? Yeah. Now that I think about it, oh, this is the longest I've ever stayed in a disguise. Sorry for making you go through so much trouble. I don't worry about it, man. I got to lean on a girl's shoulder on the way here, so really, I should be thanking you. Please? I have plenty of good sniffs in. The more he talks, the less likable he gets. So, how'd it go? Any trouble investigating? About that, I gathered some information, but I'm lacking something more definitive. 
everyone has something suspicious about them, so I don't know who the culprit is yet. Speaking of which, the peacekeepers mentioned a past incident that happened at this school. A past incident? With Maiko? You know, the one with Kurumi's best friend six months ago? The girl who fell from the school's roof and died. The peacekeepers want to pin Kurumi with a murder motive for that incident. They're gonna twist the truth into something that's convenient for them. At this rate, Kurumi will... You'll save her, won't you, hero? Ew, don't I'm say that. No hero. But if they want to distort the truth, then as a detective, I can't let it slide. <laughs> and that's how you see it? Then you're already a hero, Yuma? There's still time if you hurry. Go and seek the truth that hasn't reared its head yet. But how? The guy snooping around about the first incident is a chubby peacekeeper. Chubby? Get information out of him and figure out what they're trying to suppress. They won't tell me so easily. Hold on. There is one way it could be possible. It. I that will be information if I'm disguised as Martina. Uh, I don't know, that might be a little dangerous. Looks like you now understand the power of disguises. Well, then, let's get started. Is that really a good oh, idea? Thought. <sighs> Sorry, I don't have any energy left to disguise you. Huh? I think I'll recover if I take a nap. What do I do? There's no time to wait for Desuhiko. I need to find Kurumi immediately. It'll be too late if I wait until the peacekeepers end their investigation. But I can't force Desuhiko to do a half-hearted disguise. It'd be way too dangerous with the peacekeepers. What am I supposed to do? Uh, aren't you forgetting about a certain ability? Oh, that's right! What? what? Don't yell out of nowhere, the peacekeepers will find us! <laughs> right. Hey, Desuhiko, can you lend me a hand for a little while? It, lend a hand? Yeah, I just need you to hold my hand for a bit. Are you serious? But right now, you're disguised like a girl. What if I start to have feelings? Okay. Now's not the time for jokes. Hurry, please. Jeez, what's going on? What is this weird feeling? Is this love? No, bro. Oh, it's a long story, but it's the forte I gained in exchange for my memories. Just holding hands will allow me to use another person's forte. Are you serious? You actually have a forte? Let me borrow your disguise tools. Okay, so now I know how to do look? everything. Wow! That's the perfect disguise? Did you really do this, Yuma? You never told me you had such an amazing power. Copy a million. There was a peacekeeper uniform in your bag. You're so well prepared, Desuhiko. Wait, but we're holding hands. How would you put your arm through the sleeve? Anyway, the disguise is over, so we can let go now. Huh? So the chubby peacekeeper was investigating the past incident? Okay, so the game's just that. like, we want it swing yeah. And with that perfect disguise, there's so much more you can do. Right, you stay here and rest. I'll resume the investigation. Okay. 
caring, sweet, whatever. Okay. Other spots are suspicious. <laughs> okay, I'm <okay>. scared. <gasps> I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> Do you have a moment? I'm looking for the chubby guy. A chubby? Oh, I know who you mean. Sorry, I I'm not sure what you, where he is. I see. That's fine then. Carry on. Can you crush my balls? What? Oh, you must be the peacekeeper Spice Shrek. Why are you going out to school? could be trouble if someone gets too close to the investigation. I should try and keep her out of it. You. I'm inspecting the school as a precaution. Keep quiet and stay out of the way. Right, my apologies. Might have gone a little overboard there. Hello, Vice Director Martina. Is there anything I can do for you? Hey. Yes, actually. I need you to do a little digging to a past incident. In that case, I think I may have the documents you need. You know, the one you always get mad at for hovering around. Uh... I see. Always, huh? You know where he is? Well, I saw him outside the school building a while ago. He might still be around here somewhere. I see. I'll go have a look then. Hey. Oh! That was awfully brave. This guy? You there. Do you have a moment? Vice Director Martina! Is it time for my punishment? Punishment? Anyway, were you the one investigating the Ico case half a year ago? Y yes, that's correct. Is it time for my punishment? Okay, got your number. Huh. I need to confirm a few things. Can you tell me what you've discovered so far? Gladly. So you guys just on purpose. Body was discovered behind the school building in the flower bed after class. She was bleeding from an injury to her head. This is believed to be the cause of death. This believed to be the cause of death. I mean, can we trust this information if he's just gonna be whoring like this, though? The body was not wearing shoes on either foot. The shoes were then discovered on the roof of the school building, set together neatly. This is why it was deemed a suicide via jumping off the roof. Uh, uh, here is a photo from the scene. Who first discovered the body? Let's see... It was a student named Cotton, another theater club member. Huh? Cotton? She heard something fall and went to check the flower bed. There she discovered Iko on the ground. That 
is what she testified. Aiko was considered the star of the theater club, but apparently she worried about her future goals. And by the way, this is the last photo of Aiko prior to her death. So this is Aiko. Thank you for the report. Felt like a boot for a uh, ham mug or some kind of yes, day. Oh, but what about my punishment? Um, uh, be gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, I got what I came for. I should keep investigating. But where to go? Hey, what are you doing? Trot it out! Why are you getting in the way of my investigation? Oh, wait. Chemistry lab. Besides, where would she even get poison from? Ms. Martina, this was discovered in the chemistry lab. That's right. The bottle of poison used in the murder was found there. <laughs> well, I'm here anyway. Might as well check it out. Okay. Their eyedropper is used in the lab, but these still look new. Similar to what, um, Kurie had. In a way, in a sense, uh, say a form, I guess. I see. Like the eyedrops dropper show any signs of use. Vice Director! Miss Martina! Was there something insufficient about our investigation? Had you told me, I would have verified myself. Okay, so he just has a completely different voice lying in his head there. Thank you for your diligence. Tell me, do you have the results from testing for poison? Yes, as I've reported to you already. The poison was only found on the victim's glass. Only the victims? What about the bottle or the other glass? None. No traces have been found on those. And as you've instructed, this information is currently being kept from the official report. I see. Good work. The poison was only on Cotton's glass? How is that possible? So that can mean like either it was like it could have been a suicide thing I guess but maybe it was like because she was the last one to shuffle them I think but um maybe like both of them didn't do anything her and Waringa it was a third party so it could be turning a Yoshika um Terumi or maybe a new character. <laughs> like a chubby peacekeeper. It certainly wouldn't be you would go. Huh. If it was Maybe this is the bottle of poison discovered by the peacekeepers that was used for the murder. They'd taken it out for the investigation. Did they Put it back because they were done? The report mentioned the bottle's lid was unsealed. The bottle is too big to easily conceal. Taking this to the theater hall would attract attention. If that's the case, maybe its contents were poured into another container. Like one of those eyedropper things? According to the label on this bottle, 
This chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Technically, like, depending on, like, when exactly, um, Yoshiko walked in, she could be a suspect. Because the thing was at least, um, 45 minutes long, if I remember correctly. Not totally sure, though. Oh, there's a more detailed description about it here. Once opened, oxidation cannot be stopped. Transferring to another sealed container will not prevent this process. Wait, there's a paintbrush near the chemical shelf. The tip of the brush is wet. What is this? There's probably not much else that can be checked in the chemistry lab. But it sure is convenient being disguised as Martina. The peacekeepers keep telling me everything. I should have taken this disguise from the start. Maybe I should keep investigating in this form. Hmm, what else should I look at? Uh, again? The staff room? I think I already checked everything in there. No, I didn't check everything. There were lockers I haven't searched yet. Now that I'm disguised as Martina, I could look through everything. Do you have a moment? Does anything stand out about what happened? N nothing in particular. Do you have a moment? Does... N nothing in particular. Would you like to die? You... Do you have a moment? I'd like you to tell me what you know about the incident. Alright. And that's all. Nothing seems to conflict with what I already know. Thank you for your cooperation. Stay in this room until instructed otherwise. Okay. Hey. You girls have a moment. <laughs> what is it? I'd like to know if anything about this incident has struck out for you. Even small things would help. It's not out. Uh. So maybe she's the culprit? At least that's what I think. Mm. It's the same as what I heard earlier. Thank you. Send this room for now. Also, you might want to refrain from whispering. Right. I'm sorry. Hey. Can I have a word? I'd like you to tell me what I saw, what you saw during the play. Sure. All I do is this. That I haven't already heard, huh? Thank you. Send to this room until instructed otherwise. Thank you, Stig. Yoshiko's locker. Nothing noteworthy. It's a club locker. Cotton's name tag is on it. I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Huh? I I yes. Huh? There's something on the floor. It's the script for the play. Cotton's name is written on the cover. 
There are tons of handwritten notes. A lot of effort was clearly put into this. Hmm? There's something written in red at the Duel of Poisoned Cup scene. Take the glass, the spotlight hits first. Cotton must have written this. The handwriting is the same as the rest. Interesting. Definitely looked away just now. I think the uh, Korea being a corporate or something would be really um it's a club predictable. Warren's name tag is on it. I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Huh? Oh, right. This diary has a lot. I feel bad about reading someone's diary. You there. Can you call over the student named Waruna? Huh? Waruna? What do you want with me? Can you open this lock? <laughs> That's my diary! How did you get that? nothing to do with what happened uh, how do I know I'll that be the judge of that what I I can hear you it might lead to a clue I have no choice isn't this what a detective would do there's no need for emotions to solve a case right I understand here's the key I'll give it back right away. Don't worry. Oh, what's this photo? Okay, so is everybody there or something? Let's see. Here, you can have it back. You still haven't heard anything about Tarumi. Who shoved Cotton's script into her locker? What are you talking about? I have an eyewitness account of you taking Cotton's script. <sighs> are you hiding something? If you keep hiding it, you'll be sorry later on. Yeah. Don't tell me well, you're crush your duck. chemical used in the murder. Uh, I'm not, I swear. She's definitely hiding something, but I don't think I can get anything out of her. You should pat her down and search her. Huh? A detective must suspect everything. You get to fondle a high school girl. Being the pervert you are, you'd be killing two birds with one stone. Hey, you. Check Kurone's body to see if she's hiding something. Me? Wouldn't it be better for the peacekeepers to do their own investigation? Go with our own crusher soul. But that would, uh, cause some problems. Just do as I say. Uh, I'm on it. Oh, there's something in her pocket. Th that's... A notebook. I swear. Is this a scrapbook? There are magazine and newspaper clippings in it. And all the articles are... Related to Aiko? On another page, there's a small clipping of an article about Aiko's suicide. Was she collecting everything there is about Aiko? Wait, is that... Oh my. <laughs> Where is she going? This no, feels like the anger got one game that 
huh? would be a spoiler. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so where's Sarumi in this? I mean, I guess she wouldn't be here, but like... Alright, that's enough investigating in this form. I'm just saying we don't really know much self. about her. It'll get increasingly harder to investigate like this. Forcibly exposing secrets isn't an investigation. It's just coercion. Okay. <sighs> You're such a naive softy. Alright, let's go back to Desuhiko. I mean, wasn't that a pretty bad idea though? Like, what if what's it, what's her name finds out about this? Huh? You idiot! Don't come back here right now! <laughs> this is bad. Okay. Yeah, me. Huh? Another elegant and highly intelligent beauty. What a surprise. Although it appears you were unable to copy what is in my head. Put your hands up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Crime scene. I received word of you lurking about, and here we are. Yeah, I feel like that wasn't very well thought out. Your mom. This is bad. What do I do? At this rate, both of us will be captured. We're about to die, yum yum. Looks like you gotta surrender. And that's what you get for getting carried away. Although, if you apologize to me sincerely, I just might... Help! Somebody! What? What are you screaming for? W what are you... <laughs> the imposter is right here! She's carrying a weapon! Hold on! That's the imposter! Huh? What? How are we gonna win this, the yum yum? Will evacuate the premises. Eliminate that threat at once! Oh, eliminate? <laughs> That's a little... Huh? Hey, now what do we do? That ain't not ahead. just work. Let's, uh, go this way. Sure, whatever. Huh? <laughs> How you... That's enough. As I suspected, you can't copy what's in my head after all. Uh, apparently enough to like run over here. What? What's going on? Huh? Why is our teacher less? Have a big bag. Are two of the same peacekeeper? What is happening? <laughs> Why? Oh, so we can see why I'm them drop dead. Like, we shouldn't go to the labyrinth. Was so close. I almost figured out who the true culprit is. Did you? Now hurry it up. I won't give you a countdown before I pull the trigger. Wait! wait. I'll do as you say. Uh, why is you... Amigo, I didn't want to come out here like that. Uh, a man? You lot. I see. Detectives from the Nocturnal Detective Agency. <laughs> wow, you're about to go Joker psych. Oh. You can both be disposed of right here and now. What? Damn, I've got no choice. Eh, what was that blue light? What are you doing? Get out of 
Don't do nothing dumb, bro. You got mad? Do you realize what happened? Yo, 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 demon shit out my head. I keep the demons out of my head. Please help me. Why is he saying it? Why is he saying it out loud? Time for one of them to die. <laughs> like, are we just going to opt out of it? I mean, we can't do that though, right? Or maybe we can. Cause I mean, technically there can still be cases that like... We don't do in the first place. Alright, guess he will come with us. I think I'm just gonna like, um... Did it without thinking. He didn't even get on his knees or anything. It's the interface, um. Um, well. Thanks, Shinigami. You saved me. Who you am I talking to? I'm compelled to help when people need me. Whoa! <laughs> What's this? What's going on? Whoops. Looks like we got an unwanted straggler in here. <laughs> Who are you? More importantly, where do you live? What are your hobbies? What do you think of me? Oh, would you look at that? We have a crafting bag! What's happening to Dekahiko? How would we randomly just get pushed into a portal? Like, is there something pushing us? I don't... I don't... I don't... Do, I, I don't really understand. But okay. <laughs>